In the next exercise that Professor Alfie helped us to develop, what we are attempting to do is to help demonstrate to the child a little bit more about the invisible light spectrum. So what, we, what I want you to do is watch the video of us performing that exercise. It's basically a, a simple sorting exercise where we have different people um, who are holding up the names of the invisible types of light. So for example, we have infrared, we have radio on the red end of the spectrum, and we have ultraviolet on the, the blue end of the spectrum and, and some of the other um, invisible light waves. And what Professor Alfie does is he lines us up in the correct order so that we can see, okay, on the invisible red end of the spectrum, these are the types of light waves that we have, and on the invisible blue end of the spectrum, these are the type of light waves that we have. As you do this activity with a child, it's actually a really great activity you should do with a group of kids as well. You can, you can do two things. One, you can drop the terms to the child so that they start to understand the names of the invisible light spectrum. Um, and you can also talk a little bit about the properties of that invisible light. Now, of course, the purpose here for us with Rome was to teach him about radio. So the one that we'd really want to focus on is the radio wave, which is at the extreme red end of the light spectrum. Um, and so what we did when we did an activity like this with him is we really focused on the radio wave, talked about the fact that it was on the extreme red end of the invisible light spectrum and about the fact that that meant that it had a really large wavelength, which means it could travel a long distance. Now, in order to, for your child to be able to understand this, they need to know what the term wavelength means. So that's actually another prerequisite for this course. Your child does need to know about wavelengths to be able to, to learn about radio. Um, so if they haven't done this yet, what we suggest you do is to check out the wavelength module in this home study course before attempting to do an exercise like this one with your child. So I suggest uh, said there are many more colors than just the colors our eyes can see. There's more to that. And uh, all those colors our eyes can see do have special names. So we have those names here. Oh no, that's all wrong. That's not the way the colors are. You go here and uh, you go here. Oh, you're far away. Oh, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> oh. So this looks a So now we've got it right. Red and violet is what you can see by their colors. Redder than red, which is called infrared. Even farther red is what you know from your microwave oven. And if you have it still redder by a factor of 10 to 100, it's radio. Wow. And it can be more violet than what we can see, so we call it naturally ultraviolet. But it doesn't stop there. It could be even bluer than that. You get x rays, which are know from your medical examination and it can be even bluer than that. Those are gamma rays which I hope we will never see. You'll encounter them in atomic bombs. <laughs>